Hello folks, welcome to the land of the gimbal and I am pretty sure that I have finally figured out at least the basics of how to work this thing. It has something called an instruction manual. I threw that away when it came in the package so then I had to go online and download it and read it. So now it kind of works. Anyway, let's talk about the Panzer and battery management today. Ooh controversial topic. So, as you may know, gimbal, please turn that way. Thank you. That way, gimbal? Yes, perfect. Now, as you may know, currently in our trusty Panzer, uh, we have the Opel Ampera stroke Chevy Volt uh, battery modules. Uh, giving us a total capacity of 16 kilowatt hours, which is pretty crappy, uh, but it has the ability to deliver the power that our Tesla drive unit needs. Now, up until very recently, um, I have not had any form of either battery monitoring or battery management on there. The Ampera modules come with their own uh, I suppose what we would refer to as BMS slave boards. These are inside these little um, black plastic cases on the top of the battery modules. And they connect to the individual cells, courtesy of these orange plugs here, and they connect back to each other and to a battery master controller through these CAN bus uh, connections here. Now, the Super intelligent Damien had made an absolute mess out of the wiring here and had simply swapped around all the connections and messed up big time. So when we first tried to talk to the modules, there were loads of problems and missing cells and all kinds of unpleasantness in that way. So today what we have done is a bit like reading the manual for our trusty gimbal. Uh, we read the wiring diagram from GM and rewired the modules in the correct sequence. You see the problem is some of these plugs have to be in a certain module because they've got uh, wires shorted in them that identify uh, what, which module that the BMS slave is connected to. So we got that done today we got it wired back into our magical control box to uh, a little board in here that I'm going to introduce to you now. So let's go have a look at it. Oh, by the way, look at the absolute professionalism today. We've got lighting, we've got gimbals, you know, what am I going to do next? Hire actors? All right, let's get in here. So... All right, so in there, go on, Gimbley, you can do it. Blowing back at us with its little orange light is our BMS controller. And this little, bo little board he here is the brainchild of Tom Debris of Zero EV fame. And uh, I finally got to get one of these boards from Tom when I met him over at the Fully Charged live show. So... Got around to fitting it about a week ago, as I said, hit loads of problems with the wiring on the BMS slaves, but today we've got it all wired up and it is communicating. So what I've done, it's got a serial port uh, for programming and communications and things like that. I put a short wire from the micro USB cable here into one of these bulkhead uh, style connectors here. Uh, and this lets me then connect with a B cable and I happen to have a B cable plumbed into the car uh, from when I had the Siemens uh, motor controller in here and if we come inside the vehicle oh no gimbal this way now that way go on 
There you go. Up a little, up a little. That's it. Look at that. Now, here we have a readout of all of our cell voltages. And this is exactly uh, what I was trying to get to. And is, in fact, the very least um, that the controller can do. It can do an awful lot more. Uh, but at the minute, what we're going to do is on the way back home now today we're going to pop into the fast charging station and should it decide to work we're going to pump 125 amps in here and see uh, if our cells behave themselves or whether I've got you know how out of step that they may be um, the other thing that we can do is we can do uh, we can do cell balancing now um, and the controller can do all kinds of other wonderful stuff. Okay folks, we are at the Slop Emporium fast charger. It was dead when I arrived but a trusty phone call and online reset from our trusty ESB e-cars got it back in operation. Anyway, we are currently charging uh, let me see if we can bring you guys around to see this. Oh, still getting used to Gimme the Gimbal. So there we are, we're getting 110 amps, uh, 370 odd volts. Don't mind the uh, amp bar counter, I messed up some of my high spec software. So our BMS is currently also uh, set up on the laptop, and this way, Gimme and we are let's bring you that way to straighten you up a bit we're currently 370 volts on the bms 372 on the on the um i don't know what you want to call it jld uh, average cell 3.867 low cell 3.7 high cell 3.88 so we're reading them all out doing uh what we should be doing here so this is super cool uh, while we're watching the old paint dry here, why don't I um, why don't I bring you guys out to have a little bit of a look see around the uh, well, I don't even have to get out of the car. Like I can just literally show you. Uh, that's where our um, where our Ionity uh, fast charging is going to be going on, and uh, right there behind me. So if I can bring you around here, is the absolute beast of a um, substation that they're building to feed them. <sighs> so yeah, feeding four 350 kilowatt fast chargers, that's going to take a bit of juice. Makes what they're putting in here look fairly tame. Um, so, looking good on the BMS guys. Um, Let's try that again, shall we? We're currently in the ramp down mode now, holding 400 volts. Uh, so we're holding 400 volts and we're at a high cell of 4.18, low 4.02, average 4.16. We're at 400 volts exactly on the BMS here. And we have one cell, we get cell number 88, that's um, a little bit out of step with the pack. But our uh, demo controller is doing exactly what it should do. Basically we're holding the, we're going to hold 400 volts until we get below 30 amps. Then we're going to basically command uh, shutdown of the fast charger. So at this stage, we're still a high cell at 4.18 volts at the minute, uh, low 4.03, and average 4.174. Exactly 400 volts on there. Uh, so that's absolutely perfect. We got our, bleh, our 96 cells. Yeah, pretty much everything's doing. Uh, what it's supposed to be doing here, apart from the gimbal, which is still, you know, wanting to be a gimbal musk. Oh, look at that. I've even figured out the recentering button. So, 
As I was saying, the BMS controller can do uh, quite a lot of things. It can do pre-charge, contactor control, cell balancing, charger control, motor, inverter control, and probably a lot of other things that I don't even know about because yeah, I didn't read the manual the first time. So, in order that you don't make that same mistake, I will put a link in the description to the uh, Simp BMS, as it's called, GitHub page, where you can download the manual and learn all about it. Um, one of the reasons I like this is that it follows the kind of the medical profession oath to battery management that I quite like. First, do no harm. Um, I have seen many the battery pack been destroyed by amateur hour BMSs, and um, that's why I've stayed clear of them for the you know time that I've been doing this. But when it comes to the more potent chemistries like what we're getting into now, Tesla modules, you know, ampere modules here and, you know, God knows what else. Having a battery monitoring system is something that I most definitely want to have. So, thank you, Tom. Um, I hope to get to grips with more of the features of this particular beast. Uh, when we do, uh, we will have another video on that for you. So, until then. Happy battery management.